Hey everybody, it's Olivoir speaking, and today we are playing the very, 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 very well-known game, Hollywood, created by Theatrix Interactive in the mid-90s. This was a pretty popular computer game. You may have found this at your own elementary school or whatever school you went to, um, because it was considered more of an educational game than anything. But, it was the game to have, and we loved it as children. Um, originally, I was going to have Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 today as the Let's Play, but for whatever reason, um, I don't think my computer's fast enough to do the recording for that game, which is sort of sad. But I don't have a gaming PC, so it's perfectly reasonable to assume that any game that is of high speeds will not be recorded. Anyway, so you're presented with this sort of menu, and as you can see, you choose your own setting, choose your own characters, and give your show a title. And you might be like, excuse me, what, are you, what the heck are you talking about? Well, Hollywood is basically a game where you create your own movies. Yeah. Except there's only one scene you can have. And the scenes are pretty outrageous. They range anywhere from this kitchen that looks like it's going to boil over at the pot to outer space. Um, what's this? Cafeteria. Eyeball soup for 25 cents, if you're interested. Um, and a lot of other weird things. I like to go to the stadium and make fun of the people around me. And then the other thing you do is you choose your characters, all of which are weird creatures. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose the cat woman drag her on stage. I think her name's Charlotte. And how about this cool cool dog dude? And once you've arranged where you want everything to be when the movie starts, you're gonna press script. And then as you can see down here it says scene. Charlotte and JJ are in the stadium. Now at the beginning of the video I have highlighted JJ, the character, and down here you can see that there is a um, blinking cursor, which means you start entering the script. Um, but before you do so, if you want to make any changes to the position the character is in, you can click these, and he will change to them. So let's say I want him to point instead. He's changed to a pointing stat. Yay! And we can also change his mood. So if we want to be accusatory of police catwoman, we could say he is angry and you know, his face will change to an angry state. And let's make him say, you stole my purse, you fiend. The other thing you can do in this game, each character has his own set of special um, acts that they do. So let's say I want him to eat french fries. We can insert that into the script and he will eat the french fries. Quite creative, yes? No. Now let's say that's all we want him to do. And we want to move to the other character, you just simply click on the other character their name will appear in the script below, and you type their response. Now, there are several other things you may edit, such as sound effects, which range from many different things animal sounds, doors, humans, whatever you need is 
probably something related to or close to what you want. And if you need to change the character's voice too, um, which I find very handy because for whatever reason some of the preset voices for these characters involve whispering which is very hard to hear. Hello there. So I'll usually change it to something a bit more understandable. Now I'm just going to be ridiculous to show you how ridiculous this game is. And once you believe that your script is finished, you may click the theater button. This will start the script at the very beginning, and you will be welcomed by a lovely little ditty, usually relating to the scene you are located in. And if there is a title to the movie, you will see it appear over the people's faces. Nothing, I swear, you yellow dog. At least the visitors are women. Take off your clothes, please. Don't eat a cactus. <gasps> I want my lawyer. Acting at its best. As you can see, the scripts can be quite variable in content. As in, you can put whatever the heck you want to say, and the characters will say it. There is no PG limitations. The other thing you can do is save or print your script. You may also open some demo scripts that are in the game. I do believe Alex is a script I firmly made. So let's see what I did once upon a time. This will be amazing. Alex doesn't love me. This is the great debate. It is great. Again, no limitations. I won't stand for this. Then sit down. Then do it. Yeah. You look like a lampshade. Well, <laughs> Sorry, my PC can't handle this beauty. <sighs> Are you gonna be okay out there? Not? <sighs> so, as you can see, that's how you care. Hello. Hey, this is the stage manager, the guy who introduced you on stage. What's up? Isn't this debate great? No, not at all. In fact, there is no debating going on. The realism of all this is frightening me. Can't I do another gig? I wish I could let you, but you are too inexperienced. Start small. Debate the general population. I am a badass freaking police woman. Listen to me, Bucko. Get me away from this. Disgrace. Is everything I see supposed to be white? I understand. You don't want to be alive. That's not what I said at all. I will just use my magical powers to turn you invisible, since you are useless. Uh, wait here a second. Don't do. <laughs> oh man. Someone get me down.
Alex to the rescue. <laughs> oh man. I am of annual age to pull you down, but not really since that animation is unavailable. Thank you very much. I am gonna give you a pokey nose kiss. I can't resist you. Oh really? Maybe. You know, there are a couple of closets behind this stage. <laughs> Again in a closet? Are you serious? Anything for my little snickerdoodle papa poodle. Hello, goodbye. <laughs> Can I love you forever? Can I cherish what we Again, acting at its brilliant state of mind. Oh, man. This is the great debate. And? Hell yeah. So, as you can see, a brilliantly written script is not incapable of happening. But it's something that should be cherished forever and ever. Thus is the game Hollywood. A very simple but educational experience for the child at heart who just wanted to be able to control something in their lives. This was before the games that we know today as The Sims, or games that allow you to create your own worlds. This was about as close as you could get to those games. But in a much more stylistic 90s approach. Thank you, Theatrix Interactive, for bringing this to our homes. And this has been Holovar saying goodbye. I hope you enjoyed this little snippet of basically what my childhood was limited to, game-wise, before I had a Nintendo 64, which was my first console. And so long. See you tomorrow.